Good evening everybody and welcome to another installment of Valheim Mistlands. Last time we left off we were building a foundation and I've got a few tricks up my sleeve and a few things to show you and a surprise as well. First of all, as you can see over in the corner here, I've amassed quite a few bits of wood and I used that decorating tool to be able to lay it all out. So as you can see, that's 250 units of wood. And that's not including the wood that I am carrying in the inventory. Next of all, a little trick I wanted to show you guys. Now this corner, if I was to use this, it doesn't quite catch the ground properly. And it's going to look a little odd, especially if we start doing some terraforming. If we use the next one up, the two meter pole, and we place one on top of the platform, and then one just exposed from, we should, yeah, we go, get it to lock in. And then we can just, with the middle mouse button, delete the other two. All right little surprise for you as I was doing all of all of this wood cutting I was passing back through uh, the megaliths and oh, excuse me a second and I came across a deer and I managed to down it with the axe yes it is possible if you can just get at just the right angles you know, move at just the right time and have the stamina you can indeed take down a deer and get this coveted deer hide as you see I've managed to get some feathers which fell out of a tree yep yeah purse roosting trees who knew and there's the deer meat we've got some boars we've got the birch seeds from when that birch tree fell which is just to our right and basically we are starting to gather quite a lot of bits and pieces here I think eventually we're gonna to have to build some storage chests first of all Let's grab a little bit of energy so that we can actually build this. Right, now we're going to need a direction to actually come out of our hut. Um, now as much as it would be nice to come out and view the sea, uh, we could always build up the land around us and go this way. I'm going to go with having the door here. Right, now with the door, it is a great tool for placing things, and we'll see this in more action later on once we get to the higher tier materials. It'll be great for placing stuff. As you can see, there are three places you can put it. One that's in, one that's out, and if I had a platform uh, here, then I could actually put it on the next platform as well. So... It's up to you where you place this piece. Um, for fun, let's have a just slightly uh, indented door. And then we'll bring up our wall, uh, wooden walls. We'll place it there so that we can get the spacing right. As you can see, it's got that ni nice indentation now. We'll do the same on the other side. Start from the corner. Work in on that on that wall. And then we'll do the uh, all the other walls. Now, as we go along, we will need to pick up some more wood. Middle mouse button on these decoratives. Uh, can I pick up another? Yes, I can. So, here I've picked up 100 wood, and I am going back in. Now, you're wonder probably wondering about windows. Well, you can build windows into your hut. Um... There are shutters that you can get once you can actually uh, break up the those birch trees and be able to create what's called fine wood, which is like the next tier of wood. Now we've got two choices. We can either build it, build our roof high, which I would recommend because that will come in useful later, or we can just have it as it is and then build a maybe a a. a, a a bungalow style roof that sort of comes up and meets in the middle. I'm going to go for a second tier because 
when I'm inside the house um, I always like a bit of room to be able to look around see what I have created um, maybe in the next video I'll give you a sneak peek of one of the other builds that I'm doing in um, a, another world that I've simply called Rebirth and I've got quite the uh, quite the Viking Hall going on Oops. Do I just place that? Yeah. Okay. I've got quite a Viking Hall going on. Uh, probably not your traditional sort of style, but there we go. Right. Now, we could do a roof like um, in a set of um, like a semi detached or a uh, set of terraces. Or we could do a, like I said earlier, a, a, a roof like a, like a pyramid, if you will. But I always like to have a roof that meets in the middle. It just looks good. So I'm going to use these 26s because otherwise we are going to have a rather, rather steep roof. And that can then cause complications where we will need to add, add in supports. As I'm going to go up, I'm going to add in these nice wall 26 sections to hold, the, hold it. And whilst I'm going, let's add these half walls in as well. So let's start getting some of the bits and pieces in play that we are going to need. Um, so we're going to need three of those. And then we can have another three here. One, two, three. Oh, just if you're wondering what that is in the background, you have your drassel, you know, visible in the sky at all times. You know, it's a wonderful sight to behold. And surprisingly enough, you can actually use it to navigate when we get to the point of actually uh, sailing. Uh, I used it once because I lost my way. I couldn't really figure out where I was on the map. And before I knew it, I was home. Right, okay, we've run out of wood again, so we're going to need some more. Like I said, crafting at home is a very wood-hungry um, exercise. And as you can imagine, with some of the bigger builds, we are going to need a lot more. Right here, as you can see, it's going to make it difficult to get in and out, so we'll use a set of stairs. I'm going to use two sets here. In, we'll keep this stone here for later use. Alright, let's see if we can find our stat points. Because we will need to create a cover for it. I mean, technically we don't have to. I just personally like to have a cover over over my stairs. Right, if you're wondering why I had to move back in to be able to put that point, a workbench actually has a circle of effect in this game. So, if I step outside of it, you know, as you can see, the workbench says none. So, what we're going to do, so we can actually do our job, we'll put another workbench down here for now. On the other side, we don't need to cover this one because we all we're using it for is to create a radius for us to work in. Right. There's our, there's our front porch. We can neaten that up later. We just want to make sure we've got enough wood for this so that we can finish this video off nicely. And that would break right now, wouldn't it? Hey, another jump imp skill improvement. Quickly repair everything. And we'll run back. Why not? We, we, we want to improve our run skill. Run skill then uses less stamina as we go up the ranks. Uh, it takes a while for you to notice it, but it does actually uh, help, especially 
Oh, you're going to do that on me, are you? Well, we're going to have to build a ladder at some point and retrieve that. I'll probably do that after the video. Alright, there we have it. Uh, just need to fill in our, our corners. Now you may notice the gap in the ceiling. I'm going to use that as a point for putting, um, you know, for, for letting smoke out. And the other thing, this is another good reason, if I can stand on it, another good reason for having this stone is we can use it as a, if I can get up there, point to work from. Right. And then we can put a classic Viking X up there. And another one there. And there we have it. Our first structure. We'll start moving things inside in the next video.